Hi everybody, this is Lisa from Canine Clips and this is Skeeter and Skeeter is going to sh demonstrate stage two of my grooming process which is the bath and blow dry so I'm just going to give you a quick little um, video of that but I'm not going to do the full uh, blow dry just because it does get a little bit noisy but I just wanted to give you uh, show you an idea of how I bath them so I don't use any restraints during this process as well as I don't use any restraints with any process of my grooming and um, I'll, I'll just get to it. So I do have a, a raised tub of which has been set up here and then I do have a shower on a nice long hose as well which helps with this process. So and I've used a tap that so I can turn it all the way on and it's set to a certain temperature so that it won't get too hot so I don't have to worry about setting the temperature every time as well. So I'll look at that. Skeeter's a little bit shy as we know, but he's pretty relaxed as well. And there we go, nice and wet. And then um, I have my shampoo and what I've actually done is, um, it's a concentrated shampoo. So I just put a little bit in there and add water to it. Um, and these are actually old, um, I believe, mustard containers that I've gotten a long time ago. And this is just um, a ketchup lid so that when I turn it upside down, it doesn't pour out unless I squeeze it. Uh, so I've learned that. I've, I've been using these bottles, I think, for about 10 years. So if you can get the real thick plastic ones, um, those are the ones to get. They last a long time and they're um, nice and soft so that when you squeeze them, um, the liquid comes out nicely, but you don't have to apply too much pressure and the plastic is a good quality so it lasts a long time. So you can find them. That's the ones I use. So they work really good and they last a long time. And I just kind of hook them onto my uh, bathroom wall. Oops, let's show you there. If I can show you, there you go. So you can kind of see they're just hooked on the wall there. And that's how I can easily access them. All right, so back to Skeeter here. Make sure you're you know, thoroughly washing them, but you're always going to be careful not to get water in the ears because that could cause ear infections when you put water in there. So I always, um, at the end, use an ear solution to make sure that um, there's no water left in there. And that helps dry out any, um, any water that may have gotten in there. But you're always going to be careful when you're using the, the water on him to rinse him off and bath him the process, you're going to make sure you're, you're coming from the top of the head so it rolls down or even you can push down the ears as well to make sure no water. So if they are very prone to ear infections, I usually will push down those ears to make sure no water gets in. Alright, so and you always want to make sure you really get that soap out um, because if there is soap left on the dog, that can also become irritating as well because that becomes become itchy in itself because it's just a little film left on them, right? So you're going to make sure you get that, um, the water, the soap really out good of them um, so that there's none left over. I also have a, a little hair drain in there so I can catch the hair as it comes up in there, as it will because um, if you're trimming their face to the bum area, or and even brushing out, there'll be some loose hair. Um, so you want to make sure you catch that hair so that you're not clogging your drains up. All right, so I'm going to just get ready to blow dry him here. Um, first, I'm just going to grab a towel. I'm going to dry him off so he's not so wet. And then go to blow dry him. All right, so I'll prop that up. And I'll set this up so you can see where I am at. There we go. All right, so I give him a quick uh, towel dry. There he is. <laughs> so that actually takes off quite a bit of the hair. And I do wear muffs during this process because it does get a little bit loud. So it will get a little bit loud for this portion. 
Um, I just wanted to show you again how I'm doing it without any restraints during this process. So I'm going to start the blow dryer now. So um, what I do at this time is I don't fully blow dry them. I just kind of get the bulk of the moisture off so that I can do the next process, which is um, shaving them down. So we're going to do that and I'll show another video of that stage. So hope you enjoyed the video and please comment if you have any questions. I'll be happy to let you know what type of tools I use and the blow dryer and such and so forth. Um, but as you can see, it's quite high powered and that does save me quite a bit of time when I'm doing the dogs and that process. All right, so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.